Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Hindi, the Android Authority App Guy. We're nearing the end of March, and that means it's time to take a look at the best Android apps that were released this month. Droid ID is a unique application that really takes advantage of the built-in fingerprint support from Android Marshmallow. This application allows you to unlock your computer with your device's fingerprint scanner. It's fairly easy to use. You download the computer companion application, set it up with the mobile app, and then unlock your computer with your fingerprint. It's only available for Mac right now, but the developer says that Windows support is on the way. Hands Free is a new Google application that allows you to pay for stuff just by stating that you want to pay with Google. It's not available anywhere except Silicon Valley, but we expect support to increase over time. The idea is that you say that you want to pay with Google, your picture then appears on the register screen, your ID is confirmed, and then you're paid up and ready to go. Pound is a voice assistant application that's been in beta since last year. In March, it shed its beta tag for good and became available to the general public. This is an application that's meant to compete with the likes of Google Now and Cortana, and it does a fairly decent job. You can ask a variety of questions, sometimes multiple questions at once, and get answers for them. It also comes with built-in support for Uber, navigation, phone calls, text messages, hotel search, calculator, a converter, and a whole lot more. Hub Keyboard is a keyboard released by Microsoft this last month, and it has some interesting features. The premise is that it contains extensions that allow you to interact with other applications without leaving the app that you're in. You can do things like share documents, contact information, or even translate text directly from the keyboard without being required to open another app. It's a preview, so there are a ton of bugs, but the concept is unique and it should be improved over time. Clara is a new weather application that seems to just do it right. It shows you a variety of weather stats and information, and most of it is presented in an easy-to-read graph format. You can get both short-term and long-term forecasts for virtually anywhere, including precipitation, temperature, or an even cloud coverage. It comes with some theming elements, a widget, and it's all wrapped up in material design. It's a good-looking, simple weather application that's entirely free to use. LastPass Authenticator is a new security-oriented application that gives you the opportunity to have two-factor authentication almost anywhere. It works alongside the standard LastPass app and makes you approve any action taken in LastPass as an additional measure of security. This way, if someone tries to sign in without your consent, you can know about it faster and shut it down immediately. The Authenticator is a free app that is just frosting on the cake. Sony released PlayStation Video this last month, and it's a solid application. The application will allow you to view and watch any video that you've either rented or purchased on Sony's PlayStation Store. The design is solid, and the application seems to work well, although it could use some performance optimizations. There is also a fairly decent selection of movies and TV shows that you can rent or purchase from inside the app. Basket is a newer application that acts as a sort of simplified alternative to Pocket. It allows you to save articles, videos, and other types of links for later viewing and sharing. You can organize them based on what they are, such as news, research, recipes, or funny stuff. It also utilizes material design, and it looks damn nice doing it. It's a good alternative to Pocket if you want something that's a little more simple. Stream is a new live streaming service that seems to want to be a mixture of Twitch and Periscope. You can broadcast what's going on with your camera like with Periscope, but you can also broadcast stuff like gaming on your device screen like Twitch. It seems to work pretty well so far, and you can browse content created by people who are already using the service, or you can create your own content. It's really not that bad. Proton Mail is a new email client that allows you to have end-to-end -end encryption for your emails. Not only do you get encryption, but you can actually password protect your emails, which is kind of cool. You'll also get a decent looking application that performs well and looks pretty decent, although it could have used a little more material design. This is great if you value security, and it's also 100% free and 100% open source. And that about does it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and tell your friends about it. If you want to see some more of the latest Android news, we have the latest Android Apps Weekly linked up on the screen and in the video description below. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to Android Authority because we are your source for all things Android. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day.